Hello and welcome uh, to another report from EVA 2018. Here, here me and Theodore are at the Zeiss stand Hello. and we're looking at the new products that they introduced this year. And the first products uh, is Zeiss Victory RF, so Zeiss brand new rangefinder made in Germany. So uh, Theodore, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, the Zeiss new, newly introduced rangefinder binoculars? Well, first of all, if I would show you this, you probably wouldn't say this is a rangefinding binoculars. With the exception of these two buttons here, it's impossible to see it in any way that this is a rangefinding binoculars. So I was quite amazed when I saw this first time. Uh, the ergonomics is perfect. The fingers just fall on the on the place where where the buttons are, and also the focusing is like we you know really high quality from size. They can measure to the distance of 2,500 meters, and what is more important, they come in four different flavors. So you have uh, eight by 42. 10 by 42 and then 8 by 54, which is really interesting. So they completely abolish the 56 millimeter lenses. And then the last model is 10 by, by 54. Um, the other thing which is really important, apart from the perfect ergonomics, I didn't say it before, but it, it's the only range running binoculars that looks like a normal binocular. And the only one with such great capabilities. 2,500 meters, it's, it's not a... It's a really a long distance for, for measuring. Uh, but what is also ideal, and they're, they're the first, size is the first that has done that. You know, they have their hunting app, which you probably know from, from your phone or anywhere else. And they just added additional feature for this hunting binoculars, this rangefinder. So you have the location, you have the weather, you have the hunting diary and everything. They just added one additional feature and this is a range finding binocular. And now you just connect it with a, via Bluetooth to your binoculars, add in a ballistic, the whole program, you can put everything else in. You can start with uh, really, really simple data from, uh, from factory ammunition, or if you're a reloader, you can add anything what you wish inside. Uh, B7 uh, ballistic coefficients, speeds, uh, the whole ballistic curve. And then you just put it in your scope, via Bluetooth and immediately it works like a ballistic calculator. It gives you true ballistic range, so equivalent horizontal range. It gives you how many clicks you need to dial. It gives you all the needed data for long range shooting. And we have seen something similar in Leica Geovits, but they always use the small, uh, small micro SD card, which you need to put first in your computer, download the program, program in all your ballistic data and then put it in a binoculars. Via Bluetooth and directly with your smartphone or a tablet, this is all done much easier. So I would say this is an exceptional product, and if I wouldn't be too brave, I would say probably one of the best at the moment in this class, or at least it is really close to the Swarovski and Leica, or even maybe better. So, so uh, what is the expected retail price for the well, retail range? price? Is um, given the features and especially this Bluetooth connectivity is not. I would say it's acceptable. It is, of course, expensive, yeah. but everybody else in this sector of optics is also expensive. So the smaller models, they start at 2,900 euros. This is the suggested retail price. And the bigger models, they are around 3,200, 3,300. So basically, they are on the same level as, as the competition. But they offer features which others don't. Um, I would say that this can be acceptable price because you get a normal pair of binoculars. It's ergonomically completely the same as, uh, as normal, and you get an additional range finding capabilities. What is a little bit, um, I would say the only small shortcoming is that in one tube, there is a sensor inside. So one tube has about 3% less last transmission rate, but it's not something that you will be able to notice immediately. I was really scared about this. So I was scared because the whole laser uh, measuring system is in one tube. But when I tried it, I was, I was relieved because it's uh, optically it doesn't affect anything. So in resolution-wise, it's on the level of the SF almost, or at least HD uh, series. In terms of uh, light transmission rate, it's about 3% behind them. But still, you lose a little bit of light transmission, you still have all the clarity, and you gain a lot of ballistic uh, options which currently no one else is offering.
Thank you, Theodore, for the short review of these new range finding binoculars made by Zeiss. If you found the video useful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any additional questions, leave them down in the comment section below. We're always glad to answer questions. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye. See you. Bye.